Hi. So I wrote something. It is a journal entry that I wrote today. Today's June 10th, 2021. And um, I started to write it earlier. I wrote it on just a notepad. Um, but I wanted to, uh, to speak it now. So I call it, he didn't choose me. Um, at one point in time, it was more important to me than anything else that he chose me. I felt like if he chose me, then I was better. But I soon realized that every girl feels this way about the boy they like. We all want him to stop and to choose us because then we feel special. Sometimes we need the validation from other people to feel significant, but in reality, the other people don't matter. We are the only ones who matter. What we personally think and believe is what matters. How we are able to process the stuff that we are dealing with matters. If other people agree, not so much. If other people like it, not so much. I think the part that hurts the most when you are young is the group thing. You may stumble across a group of people who believe something negative about you that you don't believe about yourself, and you might be too small or too weak to stand up for yourself. When you don't stand up for yourself, the other people with their beliefs and their opposing narratives, uh, they, they turn into actions which can reinforce the false narrative about you. When you are young, like, when you are young, he doesn't like me becomes he doesn't like me because I'm not beautiful or no one in the world will ever think I'm beautiful. Therefore, because my beauty is all I had or all I have, then I'm nothing without it or I have nothing to contribute to society because one guy doesn't believe I'm beautiful. Think of what an awful world view that is to live in. What if years or decades go by and there isn't another guy who comes along and says, you really are beautiful. That other dude was just stupid. Um, I think that was a really good first draft, but I, I guess I also wanted to unpack it a little more because it's something that I feel like um, I've seen and I've heard a couple of friends sort of like relate to me this almost this idea of like other people pushing their happiness and love onto you in an attempt to like say I have this therefore I am better than you and I didn't choose you and that should matter to you and well, firstly, that's weird and a very insecure thing to do, but also, um, that really shouldn't matter. Um, it really shouldn't matter because in your life, you are the main character. And if you really like someone and they don't like you back, what you should do is, is start to write down the things that you liked about this person if you think they're so attractive they're so beautiful well i'm here to tell you there's someone way more beautiful than them and if you look at this other person it's going to make them look like they're ugly and it's more than likely that the more beautiful person will probably think that you are beautiful so in comparison the ugly person dissed you and the beautiful person actually thinks you're beautiful so here's to say beauty is in the high of the in, in the eye of the beholder I mean that's a very old phrase but it still holds true also 
there's probably other things in that person that you like and you should actually look at it as a very positive thing that you were able to identify certain characteristics in this person that you like um, that you find admirable maybe they're funny so you like humor maybe they like food so you know eating is very important to you going to restaurants is important to you maybe it's one movie that is your favorite film that is also their favorite film there are other people in the world who like that film it's not only them that means that now because you've identified all these things that you like about this person you can go on a search and find other people who also like those things and in your life you can attract more of those things and those experiences even without the person that really means that the thing that you liked about the person was just a cluster of other stuff that sort of like symbolized that person but you were just in a very like weak space where you were affiliating all those things with one individual as if they were the only person who could have those things so like for me in my life that sort of lesson is very important like in my family um, at least on my grandma's side you know there was like one idea of what it meant to be attractive and so like if you're not if you don't look one particular way like there's one idea of like here's how you have to look to be attractive and if you don't fit in with that you're supposed to be like worthless and not be able to like live a quality life now we all know that isn't true and we also know that at least in america um you can have a very quality life without being very attractive at all um and honestly it's your your work that holds um weight right and it's really money that holds weight but you can do labor for money and then those are the things that matter and even if quite a lot of people tell you or make you feel like you are unattractive and that you are not desirable like those people don't have the final word because in the narrative of your life those people don't matter